young goblin man, raised in the clergy, had always found a close connection to the gods of the realm. They spoke to him in his dreams, sending him great visions of things that had passed and things that were yet to come. He travelled to the mountains to build a shrine to those who spoke into his mind. Here, at the peak of the world, the three gods began to appear to him, first seeming almost playful, teasing, but also giving gifts. Under the protection of the gods, Crail, for that was the goblin's name, travelled the world, learning more of its great history. Crail discovered that the gods had once taken a mortal champion, known as Cass. He eventually discovered that Cass's downfall had come at the hands of other humans, priests of the Honeymaker. They betrayed the kind goddess of the light and brought the wrath of the Watcher and Hunt upon them. The Hunt has since mocked the death of Cass, drawing Crail's suspicion, although the Hunt adamantly claims to have had nothing to do with Cass's death. And the other gods seem to believe him. While on his wanders, Crail encountered what he initially thought to be a cult. It turned out to be a group worshipping a fourth god, the Unseen. A being previously confined to the End and stripped of their powers, they seemed, initially, to be an enemy, but turned out to be a close ally of the Watcher. The Unseen and the Watcher appointed a guide to lead Crail to the End, where he discovered the Watcher has been struck by a grave illness. Their sight and memory gradually fading. The pair also gave them ancient books, which may hold the key to the Watcher's cure, and claimed in order to translate them, Crail must create a potion. The Watcher's Sight Potion. On the quest for ingredients, Crail discovered yet more mystery. Lucius, Lucille, and Calliope, who travelled the world with Cass when all the gods walked the earth, have no memory of the unseen. In addition, this potion is not all that it seems. Finch revealed that Lucille has attempted the Watcher's Sight potion twice. Once successfully, but leaving them soulless. The second time? Failure. Witnessed by Crail in a great vision of flame and destruction. One of the ingredients for this dangerous potion is the breath of a great dragon. One whose kind has been defeated before, but the gods have warned this one is different. The mother of all dragons, with an army of its own, would need more than just Crail to defeat it. 